KCB, uh, the recent bank, uh, to announce that mortgage, its mortgage rate has now gone up to 19% from 15%. Standard Chartered's rate is up to 23% effective uh, November the 15th. Uh, yes, the CBK has been aggressive in hiking interest rates by some uh, 550 basis points last week. But is the quantum of the interest rate hikes that we're seeing from banks justified? Um, well, it, I think we need to look at the background towards the, 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 the recent developments in the banking sector. One is that um, uh, just about two weeks earlier, the central bank had hiked the, 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 the CBR from 7% to 11%, that's 400 basis points. And then subsequently, about two weeks later, it again hiked it from, from the 11% to 16.5%. So over a period of about two weeks, the rate has gone up by almost 950 basis points. And it's on that basis that um, I think the developments in the market are currently being felt like the banks are um, hiking the interest rates by a fairly big margin. But if you look at it from the perspective that the CBR went up by 950 basis points within a period of less than three weeks, I think the increase is not quite unjustified. Just looking at the bank earnings numbers that have come through for the first nine months of the year, you've got banks on a, on a whole reporting uh, pre-tax profits equal to 65.3 billion shillings. Uh, the industry generated over 175 billion in revenue. 86% of this came from interest fees and commissions. Should banks not be forfeiting some of these profits in order to protect the growth of the economy and, of course, uh, help Kenyans pay back their debt? I think it also arises from the point of view that um, the decision taken by the Monetary Policy Committee of Central Bank was uh, informed on the basis of uh, the, the market, market expectations. One is that um, the private sector was expecting um, an increase in inflation and therefore um, a slowdown in the growth prospects, economic growth prospects, and uh, the commercial banks are also um, uh, expecting increase in, um, in, in, in interest rates and a slowdown on the credit expansion. So it's on the basis of that, those expectations that the Central Bank, or rather the Monetary Policy Committee took the decision to increase the, 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 the policy rate, which means therefore that I'm signaling to the banks that um, they should be tightening their, their credit expansion. And uh, effectively, banks have if just followed suit and, um, and uh, acted in, as, as expected by the, by the signaling um, uh, mechanism. So perhaps also reigning in that private sector credit extension, which is partly responsible for surging inflation. Uh, so that perhaps could be a good thing from the inflation point of view. Uh, but looking at the provisions and bad debts going forward for the banks, uh, what type of impact are these higher rates likely to have on that end? Yeah, that is a concern that um, uh, the, the commercial banks should be, should be alert to. And, um, and um, uh, it, it might begin to show up um, um, uh, subsequently. But having said that, I think, as we mentioned earlier, the increase in the interest rates by the commercial banks have not been commensurate with the increase in the CBR. They have been fairly um, um, uh, reluctant to increase their rates to, to the same level. And that's partly because at the time when the CBR um, started going up, the banks had already adjusted their rates up in anticipation of what, what was happening in the market. So more or less the CBR was responding to what the banks had already reacted to. So their increase therefore was not as significant as the CBR went up. And um, yes, you're right, the impact on uh, the NPL is a concern but it will not be as significant as otherwise, um, as otherwise it would have been had the banks gone up by the same margin yeah. as the CBR went up. What about encouraging uh, Kenyans to save money? Because if you look at the differential between uh, deposit rates and lending rates uh, for the first five, uh, nine months of the year, uh, deposit rates sitting at 1.3% and the average uh, lending rate sitting at 14%, and this differential is set to rise as banks hike their uh, lending rates, why are banks not, uh, allow, not paying more to depositors? I think the cost of, uh, of, of deposits in the market is beginning to, to pick up and um, the 1.3% the rate that is, is picked, think, is, um, is being picked, I think, is picking a prior period. But currently, the banks are uh, reporting having um, the, the cost of funds in, in, in the market going up. And so banks are uh, 
uh, are paying a little bit more than the 1.3 that is being um, indicated as the cost effective uh, for the first nine months of the year. Uh, just very quickly, Bill, I'd just like to get your comment on the type of regulation that the central bank governor has imposed on banks in terms of forex dealings. They've uh, limited uh, banks, local banks, from dealing with offshore banks um, in terms of speculated forex trade and saying that they can only trade uh, forex if there's an underlying customer transaction. What is your reaction to this? Okay, that was that was meant to be. Actually, there was an, even an earlier um, decision by, uh, by by the, by the central bank. You, you know, th there was the the, the 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 mention of the fact that um, uh, there must have been some misbehavior in the commercial banks by uh, some speculative activity, and that was causing the the, the 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 volatility on the exchange rate. Now, then, what happened is that um, central bank, of course, in consultation with the commercial banks, decided to reduce what you call the open position for the banks. From 30 percent of, from 20 percent of the core capital to 10 percent of the core capital, and in a way that then reduced the amount of um, the amount of um, um, uh, open positions that the banks could have on the open on the on the which could also be causing the volatility on the exchange rate. Now, having taken the recent step of uh, limiting, um, um, it, it, it basically had an impact on on the local banks. That possibly have, for example, dealing with subsidiaries in the in the in the in the, in the uh, a Kenyan bank having a subsidiary, say, in Uganda or Tanzania, that affects the dealings with those 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 entities. 